Hi, what's up guys? We're at the historic University of Miami today for another D1 facility tour. So without further ado, let's get right into it. My name is Ronnie Gallo, I'm from Miami, Florida, and I'm a senior and I'm a right-handed pitcher. How do you like playing at Miami? I think it's the best decision I ever made. I mean, I came here since I was a little kid. Eight years old, I used to come watch the games. My parents used to bring me, and it was always been a dream, and here I am making a kid's dream come true. So this is our mud room. Yes, sir. You know, we sometimes we have, uh, when, we do, when we hit BP or do anything like pitchers or, or hitters related, we'll be on the field. We'll have three groups during BP, one group hitting on the field. It, Another group on bases or defense, another group in here. So the guys will switch into their turfs, grab their bats and elbow guards, and get ready to you go swing in the cage. Still? I wish. <laughs> no. We got everything that you, a college baseball player can ask for. I mean, any any new technology that you you could think of, we got it. I mean, yeah. maybe six cameras in here mm -hmm. for pitchers, bullpens. We got things for catchers when they're receiving um, hitters as well. How fast their hands are going through technology that goes on the hitters' knobs yeah. to see or to track your exit velos or how hard you're hitting the ball, or whatever. The case may be. It's open to us anytime we want. Uh -huh. So we can come in here, a guy that's struggling during the season and he wants to come and get extra reps, he has yeah. access to 24 hours a day no matter what. Also nice and air conditioned. Which yeah, it's, like it's it is nice and yeah. we have 12 speakers in this place. Oh, so okay, you can, you can blow, if you're here by yourself, you can blow the roof off this I place. I love that. Really, this is what really controls our cameras and stuff. Sweet, man. Oh, our hitters this. technology, all of the rep sodos. So everyone's got their own. Everyone has their cool. own thing. That's smart. We have the TVs for the coaches and the, the um, managers that are doing the rap soto. That's we cool. start our cameras, our Bluetooth stuff, and as you can see, we have six cameras that awesome. three are activated right now. So the bullpen's new, right? It wasn't yeah, this is, this, this, one? this is new. This is what we have come to now. We used to have our bullpens on the field, both sides, so they took, they tore it down, they put new grass in. Oh, so this is brand new? New dirt, this is brand oh, so new. Have you, have you we haven't, even, we haven't even been able to step foot on the mounds That's yet. Funny. Kid, we used to have nothing but rock and grass over here, yeah. so they built this bullpen for us. We got two mounds, get two guys going at the same time. Honestly, can't wait to try it out. I mean, I haven't even been able to step foot on it. It's good because now we got guys, people in, in the bullpen, we used to sit in the dugout. Now we can actually sit here and watch the game. That's how you build that bullpen. pitcher culture. Exactly. Right? So yeah. We, yeah. you see all these all these people, all these other teams. I mean, they're, they're got their guys in the bullpen goofing yeah. off and like building their pitcher yeah, yeah, yeah. culture, like you said. I mean, I think that we're going to be able to do that this year a That's lot more awesome. than we did last year. And man, you can't beat this view. Yeah, oh man. You God. really, and you can't beat this view. I mean, like, like you said, I mean. And the scoreboard's pretty new too, right? Yeah, our score, we got our scoreboard last year was the first year we used it. That's crazy. They started building it last year in the fall and uh, that's big time. That's a yeah, huge it's scoreboard. a huge scoreboard. We got a lot of things that go on there. One of the newest additions that we did, we we didn't even think that it was going to be able to happen because it's so hot in Miami was the turf that's back here behind right. the plate. The turf back here helps a lot. I mean, for our catchers, mm -hmm. the way the ball plays off the turf, yeah. it's going to be different. Definitely. And man, look but, at the seating. That's awesome. Yeah, like, right on the field. That's another thing. Our seats, for the people that sit, it's so close it's to our really stadium, so yeah. it feels like the fans are on top of you. And like, I, I mean, if you watch a lot of our games last year, I think we have one of the best fans in the nation. Mm -hmm. This place gets pretty packed. Our outfield padding is brand new. They just fixed that because our, our outfield padding, our fences, they were worn out. I mean, we had to get new stuff. When you win, I mean, you like you get you, you get yeah. things in return. Yeah, and it's cool being on a campus with other elite ba uh, sports teams yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. Like, just... And 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 it's not just baseball. I think it's a culture around every other sport as yeah. well. Like you got five national championships with football, yeah. four with Matt with baseball. Basketball. You got coming basketballs up. Yeah. coming up. Yep. We got a huge fan base that's going to basketball. Every game's getting sold out. Our fan base in basketball. It's just They're fun. Man. It's just yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. Why not be Miami? Like everybody wants to be in Miami. 100%. It's Miami. It's funny. Most people don't realize this. Miami's a pretty small school compared to like a Penn State. Yeah, or Miami whatever. isn't as, as big as law. I mean, we are a private school. There is a lot of kids at our school, but it's not like what you think of when you think about a Florida State or yeah. Penn State where it's 
I mean, we don't even have our own football stadium yet. I mean, that's in the works. Right. Oh, here we go. Score so here's board. our new scoreboard. Oh man, check that out. Yeah, things go down in, in our dugouts. I mean, <laughs> we get pretty rowdy in this place. I mean, if you know college baseball, you know that it's probably one of the more electric sports oh, in, yeah. in, in, in the country. Mm -hmm. time, like, one time, we, I think we walked off, I think I was on Virgi at Virginia, or we walked off against Virginia, or UNC maybe, and our coaches were so hyped, and our equipment manager was in it, and we, <laughs> we threw him in the car, and he <laughs> scrambled around this place. Let's we threw go. it. It was, it was, bro, it's a party. And that's another thing, man, when, when, when everybody in the dugout's having a good time, and guys aren't pouting because they're not playing, and everybody's enjoying themselves, I mean, you, you become a family, and you become more than a team, and that's what I think we have, and that's, I think, what's special about our program, is that that's we're awesome, not just man. a team, I mean, we're a family. This is our nutrition room. Whenever on our free time, we want to pass by here during class. The main, like every other, every Olympic sport has access to come over here and grab whatever you can. I mean, we got smoothies, breakfast right. sandwiches, breakfast they make for us. Anything you can think of, I mean, we What's have What's your go-to? My go-to is probably the peanut butter banana. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Peanut butter banana milkshake uh, smoothie. Uh, we're here at the Schwartz Center, the academic building. This is where we get all of our school stuff done. And we also have, I mean, football has their locker room down here. And it's what we call our champion room as well, where we have all of our national championship trophies from five from the football and four from baseball. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's see them. Let's check it out. They don't look like this anymore. <laughs> yeah, true. It's been too long. A little more updated. So this is where we do our study hall. I mean, we have 40 computers, Mac Pros, anything, calculators, any supplies that you need for your classes or schools. You just come over here to talk to one of your advisors and they get it to you. Yeah, athletes only. That's crazy. Um, our tutors, we have tutor rooms, mentor rooms, or you have your own one-on-one -on -one session without getting disturbed by any other athletes that can be walking in. Our Hall of Fame is closed, but this is this that's our like our Hall of Fame. Yeah. All of our old uniforms from Nike to Adidas. Or we used to be Nike in the 80s and 90s. All of most of our uniforms in there, we have like some crazy stuff that you probably have never seen. You're yeah. just like, damn, that would be sick. And we try to keep it and we put it all in there. So when people come back, they're just out, like, yeah. damn, I remember when, yeah. when I wore those uniforms when we won the national I'll championship. Put clips up on the screen yeah, that'd be yeah. sick. Let's do it, man. So we got all these jerseys. See, we got jerseys here, we got gear here. I know all you guys love just seeing the gear that the players get, but it's not always like in this format. So I wanted to give you guys like a different look at uh, what it's like to be a University of Miami baseball player. So this is pretty much all we've gotten so far for the fall. I mean, <laughs> all. our strength shirt, running shirt. We have three lift shirts, one to match every shorts we wear. Just some regular shirts to change out of when you're really sweaty. Our bullpen jacket when it gets cold when we travel. There's two hats that we get for the fall. One for when we scrimmage, one for individual stuff. One of our biggest contracts is with Adidas, so we get custom, so we get our logo on the M's, all of our colors. Yeah, those go crazy. We get the black ones to match our, our black uniforms. Another pair of turfs that we get for like our indoors, our hitters, and we throw indoor bullpens. We wear these, custom, Adidas, Ultra Boost. We those get are so hard. Oh, those are sick. That's like awesome. Like the U, little, uh, little uh, accessories on the shoe, 1925 when our school opened. Okay. And I yeah, love the man. little touches, like the, I mean. The little details, I mean, that's what, that's yeah. what, that's what really makes us different. We get to customize our own Wilson gloves. Decided to go this year with the tan, the snake skin. So that's Something hard. different. Yeah, the snake skin's sick. This is my one from last year that I kept pretty good condition. I mean, it's a little flimsy, but. You go flare? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. flare it a little bit. And then our travel polos, we get two of those. We'll probably get a white one soon. We got the black, the white, I mean, the, the green the, the green polo. This is just a quick rundown. This is this is our, one of our home uniforms that we usually wear on Sundays with our matching uh, white pants with the stripes. Our gray road jerseys that we wear on Friday nights and then these we wear for yeah Memorial Day we'll wear those for Memorial Day honestly whenever our, our equipment guy pretty much feels like it I mean we'll, we'll, we'll rep those out everybody loves to see those we seem to play pretty well every time we wear those too so that's a good sign <laughs> our locker room favorite will probably say I think it would be the black everybody raves about the black ones yeah, everybody yeah. loves the black ones because it's I mean why not play in black on a Friday night course, also another fan favorite is our, our cream jersey sometimes Saturday nights with our cream pants with the green stripe on the side these we wear on Mother's Day with the pink belt and the pink, uh, we got white pants with the pink stripe. These are uh, the iconic ones, right? Like, these are 
our iconic jerseys. Just kind of went. Well, these are these are new from last year. We went to kind of wanted to do like a throwback type of year. This is what they were when they won the national championship in 2000, 2001 and 1999. And another thing that's really big on this program is that we we have our last names on our jerseys. What you represent, you represent what's on the front of your jersey as well as you represent the what's on the back of your jersey. Whatever sure. you do, you don't want to make your team nor your family look bad. What's your favorite one? If you had to, I'd pick say one. if I if I had to pick, I think the black jersey is the yeah. best jersey. There's nothing better than playing on a Friday night with a black jersey. I mean, oh, we also wear them on breast. We have a breast cancer awareness game. Uh, That's the okay. second game that we wear them. Those are really so nice. we have like a breast cancer awareness game, and, and all the fans that are here that had breast cancer or fought off breast cancer will stand up and we'll recognize them. That's a, such a cool. And then on Mother's Day, we'll get another hat, and everybody will write their mom's name on their hat. Ooh. Something we did we started last year. our brand new built uh, weight room, pretty electric. I mean, mm -hmm. yesterday was our first day being able to use this place and we walked in, it was something that we didn't expect to be able to, to look like this. Some new technology, we have three Proteuses, glute ham machines, oh, no way. our new Kaisers. We had three squat racks and now we have five. And now we, now we were, back then we weren't able to use, to do team lifts. Yeah. And I think now, right before we hit the road, we like to get a team lift in. Dude, the lights like on, on Thursday, it, so. We work pretty close with Sorenex. Sorenex did custom racks for us. I mean, we have the LED lights inside of our racks. Every single every single rack has a Miami inside with our M's, the custom M inside of it. That's crazy. That's awesome. As you can see. Yeah, man. I mean, we have different squat, different uh, squat racks, all the dumbbells you could possibly think of. Yeah. Fuel station. We have all of our protein uh, proteins in there. We have muscle milk, cherry bundies, Just something to help us recover. Yep. TVs all over this place where you can see the progress that you're making. We use a uh, thing called gym wear where it uh -huh. tracks how fast you're moving mm -hmm. at the uh, weight that you're using. Yep. Music going we got a ten thousand dollar sound system in here where awesome. you can hear the music literally from center field if let's we put go, it on full blast go. so seventy thousand seventy thousand this, this place is it's pretty sick and what we're turf. stepping on right now we have 20 30 yard turf with hurricanes all around it i mean it doesn't get better than this right here that's awesome man we gotta wrap it up bro so yeah, thank man. you so much thank man. you really appreciate it bro thank excited you to see what coming. you do this year man all right guys thank you so much for watching the tour at the university of miami we got these little sunglasses i just want to give you guys a sneak peek enjoy the show style sunglasses man release date tbd on these but i just want to tell you guys use code show 20 for 20 percent off los reyes man they helped us get down to Miami so we could do really cool stuff like this. Thank you so much to the University of Miami. Uh, my family's from here, so this one's really cool for me, and it's all thanks to you guys for helping us make this possible. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. We got some cool stuff on the way. Peace.